here comes a vodcast that you're probably going to pause a lot on, okay? And that's fine. Use the pause button, okay? But for every object, whether it's standing still or moving nice and steadily or accelerating, no matter what, that one fell, no matter what, we can graph three things about it. There are three properties, okay, that, that we can chart, okay? The first one you can see is distance, okay? How much or how far away this is with every second, okay? How far away it is, okay, between these two. Or we could graph the velocity, how fast it's moving. In other words, its speedometer. How fast is it moving? Is it moving slowly or is it moving fast? That's something else that we can graph. We can then also graph the acceleration over time. Okay, in other words, well, this is going to wind up being simpler even though it seems more complicated. Okay, how much is the velocity changing? Okay, so we can graph the three things of something that's moving. Okay, we can graph how far away it is each second. We can graph how fast it's moving at each second, and we can graph the acceleration at each second, okay? Let's make it simple, though, for the first time. Let's ignore velocity for right now, okay? And let's talk about the three ways in which something could have motion, or at least the way that we're going to talk about it, okay? Oops, let's move that out of the way, okay? First off, something could be just standing still, okay? In other words, no relative motion at all. It's just standing still. Okay? That's one type of motion. Stopped motion, if you will. Then the other type of motion, or the second type, is constant velocity, where it's moving the same distance every second. Okay? Constant velocity. It's moving the same distance every second. It's like having cruise control on. That's constant velocity. I hope you're hypnotized to that by now. The third way is accelerated motion. Now, that's when something is speeding up, like if it's in free fall, okay? But you know what? For now, let's skip that, okay? Let's just talk about things that are either standing still or have a constant velocity, okay? It's actually quite simple, okay? If you have something that is standing still, okay, um, or, you know, it's just not really doing anything, okay? Its distance graph will look very simple, actually, because let's say we're plotting the distance between me and this pen, okay? It's about a quarter of a meter right now. Okay, one second later, it's still a quarter of a meter. Two seconds later, it's a quarter of a meter. So if we looked at that on the graph, we would find that the line would actually be pretty much a straight, flat line, okay? So what we're saying is that if something is standing still, there is no change in the distance if it's standing still. So the distance, you know, we could mark this as 0.25 meters, okay? It's there the whole time, okay? At the start, it's 0.25 meters. Then a second later, it's 0.25 meters. Then another second later, it's 0.25 meters. So if something's distance is staying the same, then the distance graph is flat. Okay, now let's talk about the distance graph of something that is actually moving. Okay, and let's say it's moving away from this pen. Okay, so this is zero. Okay, what you will notice is that every second it moves the same distance. All right, in this case, what we have is we have a constant velocity. This would be the blue line. Okay, now with a constant velocity, let's say it starts right on top. Okay, that means it would be right about here. Okay, at zero time, it's zero distance away. Now, let's say in one second, it moves about 10 centimeters away. Then it would be over one second and up, let's say, 10 centimeters. Then the next second, it moves another 10 centimeters. It would be two seconds, another 10 centimeters. And you see, for every one second across, you would go 10 centimeters up. One second across, 10 centimeters up. One second across, 10 centimeters up. And so you start to see this sort of trend where you get a nice, flat, but straight line on a slope. Okay? 
Let me put that here. So if you have a constant velocity, you have a straight line, but it's on a slope. See how the distance is changing, okay? You notice that the distance is going up. The line is going up as time goes on. And this is a steady change in the distance, okay? So if something is standing still, like let's say my water bottle, okay? It's standing still, its distance is always the same for me, uh, so it's a nice straight flat line. The distance is constant. However, if something is moving, okay, the distance is constantly changing, and it's changing the same rate, okay? Boom, 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 okay? That's a constant velocity or a constant speed. You could say that as well, okay? But we like to use direction when we can. But here there's no change in the distance. Here there's a steady change in the distance, okay? All right, that seems pretty simple enough, all right? But things change a little bit when we start talking about the velocity of these same things, okay? Now, let me put it this way. Actually, I think it's a little bit easier, but you have to think a little harder. If something is standing still, okay, What's its velocity? Well, is it moving? No. So, does it have a velocity? No. So actually, we can take this same line and we can copy and paste it. We can put it right at the bottom there, okay? And that's because you have something that's standing still, okay? But this thing that's standing still is has no velocity, therefore, it is no velocity now, it is no velocity a second later, it has no velocity three seconds in, no velocity four seconds in, no velocity five seconds in. So you see there's a trend, no velocity the entire time. Hence, we get a straight, flat line, and in this case, it's at zero. So if you're graphing velocity, first ask yourself, is it moving? In other words, does it have a velocity? And if the answer is no, then it's a line at zero. There is zero velocity, okay? Okay, so the red is the red. So for something standing still, the distance graph is probably somewhere, but it's straight and flat. The velocity graph is straight and flat and at zero because there is no velocity. It's not actually moving. Now let's talk about that thing we were talking about with the constant velocity, okay? So we're moving the same distance every single second. What do we say? 10 centimeters a second. Okay. Now, velocity might have a, uh, I don't know, a couple of, uh, uh, what's the word, terms to it. You might have zero. Maybe you'll have um, five. See if I can do this with my mouse. Maybe you'll have, oops, maybe you'll have 10. Let me get that pen back. Maybe you'll have 10 centimeters per second. Of course, I should probably put labels up here. Okay. Now, centimeters per second, let's say. Okay. Now, let's bring this back to the thing here. If it's moving at 10 centimeters a second, its velocity right at the beginning is 10 centimeters per second. We would have a point here. Then one second later, how fast is it moving? Still 10 centimeters per second. Then another second later, Still 10 centimeters a second, 10 centimeters a second, 10 centimeters a second, 10 centimeters a second. It's the same velocity, the same speed the entire time. So because there is no change in the velocity, you get a nice straight flat line. Okay? Notice. Okay? This is a constant velocity. It's a straight, flat line. There is no change in the velocity. So what you notice is that if there is no change in what you're graphing, it's a flat line. So if velocity is not changing, it's a flat line. If distance is not changing, it's a flat line. So for something that's moving with a constant velocity, you'll see its distance is increasing the entire time, but its velocity is staying the same. Okay, that's a good start. Uh, if you have questions, ask me in class. Otherwise,
pause, rewind, and go through it again. I'll see you in class.